And welcome back guys, welcome back to Sexy Gothic 3 where I am playing Gothic 3 and the last time we got killed by a cowardly goblin, no less, but it is a quest to kill a bunch of evil cowardly goblins here and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna try and kill a few of these bastards. Last time we barely killed this one because he was just too damn awesome and of course our rebel friends behind us uh, <laughs> so they were amazing like that let's try this again one more that is and then we're gonna be fighting with our sword and shield okay we missed him completely so it's time for the sword and shield <laughs> okay we definitely need to learn how to utilize excellent excellent <laughs> Okay, one day we will learn how to utilize the sword and the shield. Not today, but one day, well, for sure I'm gonna learn how to utilize the sword and the shield. And maybe we're gonna be able to kill maybe a troll at some point, one to one combat, with no utilizing the crossbow, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know how many shields there are in the game, but I believe there are not like too many. Considering, again, the thing, again, it is Gothic, and all the Gothic games don't have massive amount of different armors. Like, there are a bunch of armors, faction-specific armors and all that. They look different and all that, but they're quite the same almost. You know, like, until that last, last armor and all that. But I don't know, I'm not sure about that kind of thing. Is that the same balancing part for it? Nonetheless, let's try again killing the Cowardly Goblin again. We're gonna just took a little bit of health out of that bastard before we start again one-to-one -one and learn how to utilize the damnable thing. Okay, let's fight. We have to learn how to utilize. I mean, after all, we have went for... S <coughs> you see? It's like... You see? God damn it. Shield up, shield up. You know something when you do right clicks for the shield? Yeah, one more. Excellent job. It's kind of hard. There's a little bit of a different animations, and you can't really swing like before. Like... Yeah, actually you can. After all, it is the one-handed weapon. And, I mean, it's, it's almost similar animations and all that. So, I guess it's kind of the same. <laughs> but, nonetheless, we do remember we have a better sword. We have the level 2. As you can see, it's level 2. There, level 3 is, like, the best one. Of course, for that, we need 200 strength. We are, at the moment, 154. So, we are close. And, of course, for a strong shield, we need a hunting skill of 125. Ooh. And strength of 200, of course, because we first and foremost will be needing a master sword before getting the strong shield parry. Uh, required skill, the, uh, the hunting skill, how much do we have hunting? 100, excellent, so excellent. So just the thing is, just get the strength and of course 5,000 buckaroos, I believe, it's gonna be for the upgrade. And that's gonna be, of course, the problem. That's gonna be our main problem is just, how the hell am I gonna get all that money down the line? Unless they're, like, again, the rebel parts, where we're gonna be, like, making some rebellions happen. They're gonna be the thing that we'll have to like count on for the money because all the weapons and items that we're gonna be getting from the dead peoples is gonna work well for us. Uh, of course, we can all just keep up with the classical uh, bow and screw over the enemy that way. That's again before they reach me and whoever is actually coming. Who is coming to me? There is a cowardly goblin. We can. Oh, when. How how dare you be such an amazing creature of darkness? <coughs> Shield! Shield! <coughs> oh man, I can't reach the damnable thing. Okay, run away. It's it's the old school bitches. Bow or crossbow. And I'm seeing the bow is the best one at the moment of utilizing like this. Like hell's bell, we're gonna be dying like a little bitch every fucking time, it would seem. Even a even a cowardly goblin can defeat us easily. That's kind of a problematic. I was hoping a little bit do be a little bit better considering that we are level eleven or level ten. What are what level are we anyway? Level eleven and we can barely do anything against these bastards. Uh, life 240. I don't know if you have to go with the, like, begging for gods to give you better endurance, health, and, uh, like, those kind of stuff. Or it goes with levels, as in previous games. I have no clue. I have no clue. But nonetheless, I'm gonna, again, we're going to eat some uh, beautiful meat and Because, of course, that's going to give us 20% 
health points, man. 20 fucking percent. That's nice. That's very nice, actually. I'm quite happy with that. But the amount of things we're going to be utilizing is just going to be ridiculous f for the fact that uh, we get overly too damaged by the enemies anyway. And the shield doesn't work so well. At least not in the way that I want it to be utilized by me, of course. Let's see if he's going to go through the damnable wall. That's passion for the cowardly goblins. They know what they want. Oh, wow, wow. He's good. He's good. Look at that. Look at that shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like that. One, one. Okay, a little bit close. A little bit close. Okay. Okay, I believe I know how to do it. I'm going to go to his right flank because I'm protected to the left. By and see. Okay, fall back, fall back. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're not safe. Let's get that bow and kill him. Thank you. Okay, at least we did that. We can do it. We can do it. I mean, that. I mean, the, the, his swings are from left to right. So, again, that's my right. And he's going to hit onto my right side that he doesn't have a shield. Doesn't hold a shield. Right? So, that's going to, again, a little bit problematic to control that. Nonetheless, again, let's eat. Oh, man. I love this game. I mean, I love it. Gothic 3 is really an amazing fucking piece of God a game. Like, oh, my God. Like, if, if, honestly, if modders really put so much effort, like, like in they do in specifically only two second game, if they put that much effort in the first and the, in the third game, like, creating even more stuff and more lands of Mordor, it would be such an amazing even more game. But that's okay. You know, they, they're lost. They're fucking lost. Morning whatever. Ooh, that's black. Look at that, that's darkness, that's evil. Who knows what, what ways us out there. Probably mine crawls, but I don't think so. I think mine crawls would by now eat the goblins. Uh, do we have anything here to pick up? We have a chest, which I never, I don't have a problem with chests. Give me more chests, even though inside they really have only a vial. Amazing stuff, chest, thank you very much. Please continue grieving me more vials. Uh, oh, hello. What's up? Let's say because I did not say whatsoever. And I said that's a pretty, again, save always. Gunny games are known to be very harsh. Doesn't matter what level you are, doesn't matter how strong you are, at some point something's gonna kill you. Doesn't really matter what it is, it's usually something cool. Yeah. Yeah, who's your daddy? Yeah, like that. That, that, that's the thing we want to... Uh. Yeah, 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 like that. Like that. Oh, come on. Hold that shield. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Hold that shield. <sighs> oh! <laughs> fucking goblin kills me with a fucking stick. That's sad. That kills me a little bit. I want to cry. Like, I put a lot of stuff into this piece of shit. Of a, of, of a shield and, and, and an os better sword, man. And I still fucking die from a shitty goblin. <sighs> I can't wait to get stronger. <laughs> like, I'm level 11. Goblins shouldn't really pose much of a threat. Especially cowardly goblins. I guess they're not much of a difference than a regular goblin. But come on, cowardly goblin. I don't see him cowering anywhere. I'm the one that is running away mostly. Fucking hell, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you for like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. A battle of ages, guys. Yes, like that. Yeah, like that. Shield up. What's the point of a shield if shield is not... How can you do so much damage on me? Like, holy shit. Like, how do you do that much damage on me? Fuck off, bitch. Like, okay, I'm gonna try and, like, do half a damage with the sword, and the rest is gonna with with the bow. Funny thing, I'm utilizing bow more than a crossbow, but that's mostly because of the reason that we are very slow and reload when it comes to crossbow, so I'm gonna be having to, again, to wait uh, for us... Uh, to be like uh, level 5 for the fucking crossbow, which is only level 3. So there you go. Also, uh, let's get... Uh, let's see, at these, mom these moments specifically where I'm not being attacked, I can utilize the crossbow for the first strike. And that's amazing, of course. And then for the second strike, if possible. And for the third strike, if possible. Oh my god, now they're all here. That's okay. Utilizing my weapon of choice. As you can see, that's three freaking bolts and they are quite dead. For the maximum fucking damage. <coughs> Here, see? See? The bastard. How dare you hit me like that? How dare you? Who do you, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Run away. 
Let's get the bow because this is gonna be a little bit problematic. Of course, we can just <coughs> u utilize our friendlier neighbors here. And see rebels come. Drink the potion. Oh, okay. They went. Oh, not two potions. God damn it! I accidentally tapped hundreds of times. You showed him. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, like that, like a You're boss. No great loss. Did you see that, like a boss? I guess I could just utilize the rebels and Don't avoid realize. the massive amount of damage I'll be getting. Just utilize the rebels, come, and they will do it. Oh man, look at how nice this all is. Look at that beautiful thing. A little bit of a night sky. Just imagine hundreds of thousands of thousands of hundreds of mods, texture, retexture mods. And yeah, to add even more HD texturings and all that. Just that would be so amazing. Now there are already, but you know, like I'm not gonna utilize them for this run. Maybe at some point, if Destiny is willing, I, I will be able to replay this with a different class. And all the other mods, like the quest mods and all that kind of a crap. Because that's be a nice, I don't mind it, I mean I like, I mean there are a lot of door mods. I mean they're there to change a little bit of a gameplay, spice up things and all that. Holy crap, these guys really held a lot of stuff, like this looks like a was a base for the rebel scum. I don't think goblins use beds to sleep on, but there you go, we have a crossbow, there you go, another crossbow, normal crossbow, sending for 500. 500 gold pieces like that's a fucking a lot if you think about it we can barely get her most of things like hell's mother humping bells only one gobo alive let's try and lure him and kill him like a little bitch he is it's gonna be a little bit problematic also considering how awesome we truly are not and we tend to die even from one gobo he like hells we are level 11 and we can barely kill one of the goblins okay that means he gave up on us See, he gave up. Why did you give up on us, Gobble? Yeah, stay like that. Give me a nice shot. Give me a nice shot. I missed him completely. Amazing job, demon. Amazing job. You have a level one of this. Damnable thing. Come on. Yes, yes. You go slowly. I'm gonna be able to target you like that. Thank you. <laughs> like, at least I can do uh, three damage upon him. And... And I missed him, but well, that's fine. Into the into the fray, as they say, we go. Come at me. Yeah. yeah. Slowly. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Oh. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that, like that. Slowly but surely. Concentrate. Okay, okay. Now here he's having an advantage. Let's go into him. Let's go into him with the shield. <coughs> Okay, honestly, sometimes, I mean, when he holds a shield, he can't really go at him aggressively. But nonetheless, we did it, finally. <laughs> Holy crap, even fighting Too goblins hard. tends to be really hard. Like, oh, like, really hard. It feels sluggish, like the combat, but that's amazing. Too I like hard. that point also, very much so. Aggravating sometimes, sure, why not? But very enjoyable nonetheless. And here now the rebels have their cave back. If this was their cave in the first freaking place. Not a lot of things to find except some chairs that we can even touch upon. We are yet to find someone who can do lockpicks for us. I don't remember if someone, uh, if we actually even found someone who can do some lockpicking for us and t teach us that stuff. I think there's one for sneaking and crap like that. That was about it. I finished off those cowardly goblins. They weren't cowardly. The bastards didn't skin you alive. Imagine that. I'll be. You got what it takes, my friend. This is certainly worth a hundred gold coins. Really, one hundred. Teach me something about hunting. Okay, hunting. I have my skill with the bow. Show me how the game hunt. No, a big game hunter, of course. Uh, skin reptiles. Honestly, I would definitely go for whatever can like extract teeth and skin the reptiles. I'm gonna go on that next because I believe that they will be needing these two skills just to get more money out of all of that. 
let's be honest, skin reptiles and get uh, teeth, claws and horns from beasts. Like if we kill a shadow beast, it's gonna be a lot of money and considering that in this game money doesn't, like, it goes for the full price, it's gonna be amazing. Well, items go for the full price. Uh, I, I mean, selling them is gonna be is gonna garner us a lot of fucking gold. Uh, so that's amazing. I'm happy with that. Uh, though to be honest, I prefer like, you know, having uh, like a total difference in terms of selling and buying items. You know, like you, you know, unless you have some special talking skill or speech skill that give you a better bartering way of with the traders. I believe that was in the second game. I could be wrong though. I believe maybe maybe it was in the second game. Though, to be honest, this game, the third game, is much more uh, Gothic One than Gothic Two, and that of course is always a plus for me because Gothic One, as I said many times, is my favorite Gothic game. Uh, okay, we're gonna explore. We're gonna just explore a little bit here and there. Because <coughs> honestly, like just exploration aspect is amazing in Gothic uh, Three. Like I love like just going a little bit down here, left and right, and, and seeing things and finding where every nook and cranny is. Like maybe we find something very very special, like a super ultra mega sword of awesome. Of course, that's never gonna happen. But we might find a freaking bear. Or, or an ultra super awesome bear, Artea, it doesn't have anything that tells me where we are gonna be moving towards, a oh my god, three scavengers? You gotta be, okay, scavengers with, oh my god, run you fool, run! We have to lure these bastards. These scavengers, I really like the design of them, comparing them to the uh, first two game, like, really like the design. Yeah, guys, let's go to the Rebels. I really want to just go to the Rebels and gain that, garner that XP. Uh, it, it's, it's a scavenger. Just saying. Okay. You guys don't care about scavengers, I guess. Wow, they really don't care about scavengers, huh? Let him have it. No, they don't. Yeah. Don't let <sighs> up. Guys, I need help. Oh my god, I have barely any stamina. Fuck. These guys are fast, so a bow on them ain't gonna work that easily. More of those beasts. Not this time, guys, huh? Not this time, you bastards. Shield up. You see, they have, like, that special motherfucking attack. I'm gonna try with the bow because this is gonna be it, guys. Oh my god, I missed him! How the fuck did I miss? Oh my god, I was that close to killing him. Where are you, scavenger? Hasta la vista, baby Jesus. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What the fuck was that all about? How the hell did that go arcing that way? Oh my god, like, Jesus. I, I, I mean, there's like, they have that aggressive kind of stance. The mind this was changed by the alternative AI, or else they're gonna be, would be, have been very fast. Like, holy shit fast. They would be like a tundra. Uh, okay, guys, I can't, I can't, I can't target them. damn, oh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there is bed over there. I'm gonna go for the bed over there, because, let's be honest, we need the bed. Uh, utilize that for healing, completely healing ourselves. That's not a problem whatsoever. As you can see, the game la like lags much less when you have it on for a bit more than just a minute, and that just shows that this game like that's like one of the way to avoid the lag and performance issues. Well, for the most part, until noon, even though it's night. <laughs> until noon. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's uh, burn some bitches. Let's burn some bitches. Only two. That's okay. We already have a lot. And as much as we can get, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, let me just see how m uh, much do we have in terms of XP. Oh, of course, we just even got the level 11. So, I mean, it's gonna take a while. But doesn't really matter. I mean, awesome. I'm happy about it still. I'm happy about it. We have like, a little, little bit see over there. A, a window. A natural made a window, a nature made window if you will 
and it's noon guy it's not night anymore so I can actually see but uh, I like that aspect also like in the previous games uh, the creatures sleep at night and you can see the scavengers were there sleeping did not even like I did not even notice the bastards fine by me but that, that that's an amazing aspect of uh, these games what the fuck are you that's a boar that's a goddamn wild boar I'm gonna save before of course I shoot at this bastard I'm gonna save like a little bitch cause it's hunting time guys and it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be really amazing I'm gonna be running I, I'm gonna be missing also I was just saying I'm, I'm, first I'm gonna miss then I'm gonna run amazing hey come at me wild boar Run you fool! More of the beasts. Yeah. Ah, Not him, you piece of what? Oh my god! Like, oh my god! He went for that. Oh my god! Like, and why would delete be right there beneath the load? Like, accidentally you delete the fucking save. I'm hoping it asks like yes or no. That's gonna be awkward. Like, you accidentally delete the fucking save, even though you, uh, the way I save like 15 minutes later, it's gonna oh god. It's gonna be problematic in the worst situations. Like I die a lot first and foremost. I can't fight for shit even though I'm a better sword fighter than I was in level 1 and I have a fucking shield parry than I even had before. But I mean, come on. I, you know what, let's fight the boar. He's guarding something. Come at me, boar. <sighs> okay, boar. It's your turn now. Oh yeah, bitch! How did you like my smack and zay? Wow! Oh, oh, bitch! Oh, man! And he immediately goes for the rebels. That's just uncool. Well, you can ta tap at least on that loading part, this loading slot, and it will load. So you don't really have to go into the load part. So you don't need to accidentally delete the damnable thing. But I'm really enjoying the game. Like, this is God Egg at its best. Like, dying and then winning, and then dying, and then winning. But to be honest, again, it still feels cheap utilizing bow and crossbow like in previous games, except like now you can move and shoot, which is even more OP than before, but it was always OP in, in God of Games, which is amazing stuff, of course. I, I don't mind being... Oh my god, really, are we missing? Uh, we're gonna be constantly missing the wild boar. Well, to be honest, I'm just going for the XP. He's gonna give us 100 XP. He's amazing like that. Uh-oh. Run away, run away. Oh god, fuck my life. Oh, now you- Oh, one of fucking things. hell. Yes, attack the- oh. oh, you piece of shit. Why me? This is all you own fault. took my motherfucking XP, bitch. How can you do that? Now they fight well when they're low on fucking health. Now they fight well. Ugh. Is there anything else? I just see one one skeleton and that's it, huh? Well, that's okay. Let's see what what's happening here. And again, also the beautiful thing about all the God of Games, you can go anywhere, honestly, on any on, on any surface of the world. You can climb the highest mountain, even though you might not find absolutely anything there. It's still a nice addition that you can do that and not really get penalized by an invisible war. War. Yeah, invisible war. That's what I said. War, not wall. Fuck walls. <laughs> oh, man. You know, this is why it's easier also to be a hunter and, of course, a mage. Because from the distance, you can just uh, rape, pillage, and burn enemies. And that, of course, is always a nice thing. You see the speed of this monstrosity? Do you see the speed? Do you see the speed? Okay, so two crossbow bolts. Definitely we're killing them faster this time around anyways. I mean, that's for sure. Being that we have a 150 strength compared to the 100, like, at the very beginning. Of course, uh, we'll have to wait before we can get uh, that beautiful claw and all that. Because that's definitely what I'm going to go for. Like, hunting skills, why the fuck not? Just for the money sake. Oh, motherfucker. I missed you. I missed you like a little bitch. Excellent fall back slowly but surely. He will move and attack. Look how fast that monster is. And that's like not the worst enemy you will meet in this game. Like it, raptors. 
you know, like fucking T-Rex creatures of darkness. It's gonna be fucking amazing to meet them in this game. Considering that these all these guys are that bit different. And graphically, of course, I want to see them, how they look. Like, holy mother of god, this game is amazing. I just like the entire look of the game. It's just mind-blowingly nice-looking game, first and foremost. And, of course, it has a beautiful feel. It's, it's, it's li it has color. I like color in games. Like, in previous games, it had always color, a specific color and all that. There's a hair. We could, who knows what... I'm not gonna kill him. Like, I'm not killing those creatures, you know? Like, fuck that. You know, I'm glad that they left a lot of chests... Uh, like everywhere not a lot of stuff inside of them though. I believe that was changed again by the rebalancing community patch Because uh, I believe that you can usually find a lot of good stuff in chests in general and that just tells me that uh, All that blood is not from deers. It's from humans Someone died there, but that's okay. I was gonna, I'm gonna get my crossbow and that's just a regular gobo You've seen only one gobo, but these guys still present very much of a problem for me, which is totally okay considering that we have high history with these bastards in previous games. They are not easy to kill. Okay, it would seem there. Okay, there's definitely like I'm missing the shot a little bit. I have to go with up, like this, like this, like this. And uh, you see, oh man, like, uh, oh man, I lost the sight towards the boss. We're gonna wait for him. His next approach. You know what? Screw that. Uh, I'm gonna like screw that. Can I kill a deer in at the very first with the with the bolt? Because bolts are very strong compared to the bows that we have been utilizing. Oh my god! Like there are two of them. Oh, that might be a problematic thing. Slowly but surely we're gonna be going, running away like a little bitch. Yes, like a little bitch. If we can kill one of these bastards, fine by me. I missed. How do you miss? How do you motherfucking miss? I need a machine gun for this guy. Oh my god, I missed again. Fuck me. I, I deserve to die now. I deserve to fucking die. Thank you. I deserve to fucking die. Oh my god. Thank you, Hair. I'm gonna kill you next. Oh, they killed him. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see that? That's amazing. That's amazing. They are targeting me, but accidentally killed the the evil bunny. <clears throat> that bunny deserved that, though, to be honest. They, they deserved that kind of a treatment. The douchebag almost killed me. He almost killed me. Wow, these guys. Oh, man, I can kill them with one hit, like, with my weapon of choice. Thank you. Excellent. Well, at least I survived that. Thank thankfully because of the crossbow. I could just imagine the stress you would have by trying to kill any of these guys without the crossbow. Uh, the stress would be like amazing. Like holy fucking shit. <laughs> like I, I I clench my teeth and Z's and my and I pee pee when I'm fighting any of these monstrosities. Like holy shit. And the lag. Okay. So moving on. We found a nice nest of something. We're following the blood trail, which is gonna probably lead us to some evil that that we don't we do deserve. We deserve that kind of a death because probably there's a dragon inside. So what community patch also added is that sometimes certain things, specific things, do respawn over time. Certain animals in certain places, not always in the same places or in the same amount, I believe, but uh, they do respawn. But dragons do not for instance trolls do not respawn so these big big monstrosities do not respawn which is totally fine by me that's meat bug that's another meat bug holy shit oh my god is that a shadow beast we did we find a shadow beast oh that's our first shadow beast uh, let's avoid any aggravation from the shadow oh, they are not like that oh my god that's three shadow beasts <laughs> In one place? Really? OP, man. OP. Fuck that. You know, wonder there's a lot of blood. Like, the goblins were guarding that. Like, we're gonna fight the shadow beasts. If they come out. We're guarding this for the humans. Not really. Holy crap. Three shadow beasts in one place. That's, that, that's, that's scary. 
Where the fuck am I going is the question. I am not looking at the map intentionally because I just want to explore without actually, you know, without map telling me exactly where I'm going towards. Something is attacking. Oh, a boar. It has to always be a boar. Why are you a boring boar, boar? Douchebag. And of course, he knows the magic of climbing the rocks. Get away from me. <laughs> like, get a fuck away from me, boar. As you can see, very hard to kill. 100 damage. There remember 100 damage on these crossbows. And you can see the amount of damage we're actually doing him. You know, like, of course, with more strikes from the blade, would we do even more at the end of a day. But considering how slow the crossbow reloads, it's a GG. Like, we wouldn't be able to run away from this beast specifically like we did from the goblins. Uh, like, even scavengers have a good chance of hitting us. Even goblins had many chances to hit us with the sticks and they did many times uh, there's another there's another boar quite an evil creature of darkness we're gonna avoid that side at least i mean we could do the same thing what we did with the other boar oh a wolf weed an upgrade nice that's always a good thing guys it's always a good thing to find these upgrades and that's a blood fly which actually can poison us and do a massive amount of damage that way we're gonna kill it, but first and foremost save because we didn't save whatsoever. <coughs> I'm gonna kill the blood fly and end the video here, guys. I don't want to make these videos over too long, even though I say that and I tend to make them very long. One more shot and he's a GG. No, you're not a GG? <coughs> oh, fuck off! Oh my god, fucking mountain. <laughs> it's always the mountain. I wish the very best, guys. Next time, death. More of it.